Hello and welcome back, Teenage Mutant Ninja Snappers. We just got the ruler Roller of the, the deep. Ruler of the in the deep. In near automata. This is part 23 of Rock Rabbit Commentary's playthrough. To be has a slight headache after experiencing near nuclear annihilation and then magically putting on her cosplay mask in order to observe the destruction of the boss we had taken out during the last part. Mm. Ooh, a skill self. However, to be to bunker, come in. Over. Operator to to be, to be. Are you all right? Running system diagnostics. Core functionality appears intact. My stride is unimpeded. Never mind that. I need a status report. Roger that. In regards to the giant machine that attacked the shore, it ceased its resistance eight hours ago following your missile strike. Mm -hmm. Eight Damn. hours. However, its EMP strikes knocked out comms all across the region. We're having trouble getting them back online. Oh damn it! Our fast travel's disabled. In some areas. Where's 9S? Um, yeah, about that. We picked up a faint black box reading, but it wasn't strong enough to lock down his position. He should still be at the missile launcher. He must be alive. Put in a well, we don't to the know where he went. To begin a search. Especially okay. after the explosion. He ordered us to prioritize tracking down surviving Yorha members. If you find 9S, let me know, okay? We'll do. To be out. Thank you, Exposition, for bringing us all up to uh, speed. Can you give us a point on our radar to where to where you found the uh, the black box black signal? Box signals. Well, if it's a faint signal, that means that they are getting a pretty muddy reading in in you know a variety of areas that are all giving the same amount of exactitude, which means that overall we don't have a clear enough fix. Further information should be obtained from the resistance leader. Let's go. So as you can see, there are little Yorha soldiers on the ground. Some of them are unconscious, some of them are dead. Um, I mean, there's there's not much consequence in either ignoring them or helping them. We're not even supposed to technically see them right now because we need to upgrade our scanner. And the scanner is a pod, uh, is, is a pod plugin that will allow you to see not only some of the Yorha members in this area, but also hidden items. Okay. These are items, these are sim similar to Pokemon, um, except that Pokemon does not make the item appear, it just lets you know its exact position, kind of. Uh, in this game, you cannot obtain these items unless you're using the scanner. Alright. Hmm. Broken key, busted clump. Uh, get the things, get the things, get the things. Yeah. It's 20 gold, you don't need that. It's it's the game inside the game, Mr. Gerdad, is because I enjoy collecting the rings. But however, these Sonic the Hedgehog rings will eventually disappear. Especially after I hit the hedgehog that dropped them. And uh, yes, we are going solo at the moment. No, uh, no little robot boy man helper uh, following us around. Mm. All right. Uh, so, if we use this, uh, will we be able to fast travel back to our resistance HQ? I can't remember. I think some of the checkpoints are still disabled. Uh, you're not even gonna. Tr uh, you're not even gonna enable that one. Stupid mysterious chest that I can't open right now. Why can't I open this chest? Because it's got a, it's got an explosive mine on it. <laughs> it's got an explosive mine because it has defense. 2,550 defense, and it can attack while in defense mode. Yeah, resistance canvas disabled right now. Damn. And of course, it's of course that's the one that's disabled as well as the next closest checkpoint. Or is it? Well, actually, no, no, no. The the, either of the city ordinary. ruins is fine because you know either the, uh, either of the city ruins are right next to resistance camp. So I start near the tower, so you guys can at least observe the pathway. It's it's the same it's the same effing pathway. It's the same map that it was before you went onto the the missile stockpile quest. Um, you could start from the city. Hell, you could start from the crater in the city ruins and just claw your way out. But I think this is the most convenient one, the uh, the more direct approach. That is, um, the most direct approach would be just having the fucking resistance camp checkpoint loaded. But no, they wanted us to. Well, they probably wanted us to have an encounter with the character we're going to be uh, catching up with in a couple minutes. Uh, right now, 
Uh, we are just getting used to the idea that we are solo cosplaying karate person. Who apparently can fire energy waves with her fists. And collect the plates from, uh, from various robots. And that is the gravity. Yeah, the gravity doesn't do damage, though. It doesn't it, it's well, it's it a does. great disable on these lighter targets, but these lighter targets don't need disables. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of there's been a lot of disabling going on this time, Mr. Gerda. We negate damage every time we spam the R2 button for dear life in order to get the correct dodge timing on these attacks. I, I do I do kind of like that the game forces you to go through the map again it makes it makes good use it makes good utility of the resources they had because it's it's the same it's a meal we don't need to go talk to a meal mr yes, cloud we do because he has different stuff every time we see him we have to know what's in his inventory maybe it's great I mean we saw good stuff the last time we saw him but what if it's great stuff gravity stabilizer. But it's not a it's not a stabilizer. It it it's a it's a gravity magnifier for the record. And even then, it's not it doesn't have a, uh, that enough of an area to really be uh, worth it on these smaller units, especially because we three shot these smaller units right now. The, I believe that the the gravity the gravity black hole is supposed to be useful in situations where there are lots and lots of enemies, so it, it allows you to more safely pursue your targets. We meet again, troll face man. He has a jukebox this time. He does. Probably the same place where he where the resistance got its stuff from. Oh, uh, plus he's six. got plus six stuff. Plus now. six stuff. Oh my god, get the plus six stuff. Okay, so this plus six is the high is the maximum degree. So let's see how powerful some of these things get now. Well, first I'm gonna sell stuff so I can afford it. Probably um I mean, probably some useless chips. <clears throat> Machine cores. Because you're not using them past cloud. That would be a valid target to sell. But they're fucking valuable. <laughs> okay, I think I might be preparing to get rid of the weaker chips, knowing that I got stronger chips available. Vengeance. Ooh, last stand. 35% chance to, to restore all damage taken from any one hit, I guess. Well, that's cool. I noticed that uh, it's a bit difficult to find your junk items. It's, um... Yeah, the, the sale... Unless, maybe... Unless a meal actually limits what you can sell to him. That would make sense. Okay, so we're going for damage absorb. That's that's a wise decision, but it's that powerful. But now you gotta be careful because each of these costs a whopping, you know, twenty-eight capacity apiece. That's the drawback to again to using a meal's items. And now because the degree of magnitude of effectiveness is exaggerated, now we have exaggerated chip capacity costs. You could basically only ha ever have like four of these attached and have your essentials also. Should be pretty good though. <laughs> Anti-chain damage plus six. Turn invincible for four seconds. <laughs> yeah, ten percent on on pot isn't honestly all that much. Yeah, it's really on a 15 second cooldown. That would be one and a half seconds. <laughs> Actually, I think it's closer to like a 12 second cooldown, which is even worse. <laughs> there they are. All right, the machine cores. Yeah, can be exchanged for money. Thank you for telling me explicitly that it probably has no other worthy function and to just sell the goddamn thing. Um, well, that's pretty dang useful right there. 1.5 times multiplier. Versus just mm -hmm. upgrading my weapons and doing it legit. 
down attacks. Oh, I know what down attacks are. Those are good. <laughs> and in the next part, we're just going to leave a big fat mystery how Emil was able to read our brains that way. No Wi-Fi network, that's how.